we'll throw it into um, throw it into our ultimate. I mean, the XP bar is flying up. It is going super quick. So we might, we might be able to. We also have the XP ring that we can use before we fight the boss. I've never actually maxed out an ultimate, so that could be pretty crazy too. Yo, 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 everybody, what's going on? It's Lotus here, back with another Nordic Ashes run. Well, the audio is sounding better in th this video. I do apologize for the last one. Also, if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. If you guys do end up enjoying the video in any way throughout, make sure you guys uh, tap that like button down below, and I'd greatly appreciate it. Without further ado, let's jump right on into this and see what we can get going on today. Um... We ran Hansi in the last couple of episodes. Um, haven't done that one yet. Get two complete green hearts. We haven't gotten that far yet. And Nilfheim in hard mode or higher with one full ice heart. Find a lost grave in Elfheim. Wave three on hard mode or higher five times. What would happen if you left Noki's realm empty handed? Blank amount of times. I believe this is like three, three times, but I don't, I don't remember. Um, got all of them, all of them, all of them, all of them. I think we have to run Hansi again and run him on hard. See if we can get uh, everything going on here. I think we're gonna do uh, Crimson Dagger once again, but uh, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Hopefully, we can make good progress here in the expert mode. Oh, let's jump right on into this and see if we can make some uh, some good progress. Um, so what I do want to try and get, I think this one and the crossbow could be pretty good. But I do, I do actually want to do a, a double, um, a double one. So let's actually do that. We're gonna we're gonna double ascend, um, this guy, or we're gonna double ascend daggers and see how that goes. Hopefully. Hopefully it goes pretty well. I don't. I don't think it'll be. It, it'll be too bad. I think it'll actually be pretty good. I don't know exactly what um, the second ascension is since we did not look. Once we get it, we will. Uh, we'll double check and see what we got going on here. Oh, we got ten points. Let's let's throw some points into this. So, cooldown. I'll take critical. Yeah. There we go. Now we got projectiles popping up and damage. So we'll take some of this. Take some of that. We'll reroll. We'll take some more of that and some more of that. Projectiles and critical. Yeah, we could do that as well. Once we get it going, um, more projectiles, more damage should be a lot better toward um, toward fighting stuff. So I'm not I'm not too too worried. There we go. Now we got some. Um, we're close enough to soak up some of the kills here, which is pretty good. Which is pretty good. So hopefully hopefully it's not too too bad. So far it looks like we're doing some pretty good damage. Hopefully it's not too bad. Easy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, dude. Not not too hard at all. We got 16 points. Let's make our way up here to uh, some of these altars. We will need more gold, it looks like, as well. Um, so I will try and get some more gold before we uh, head over to... Oh, I guess, yeah, before we head over to that altar. And two empty red heart containers, I'll definitely take that. Um, we'll keep heading our way over this direction. See, we got something going on. Um, I mean, we got plenty of points. We got 14 points, which is quite a bit, actually. Uh, what do we got going on here? One full red heart and blue heart. Sure, I'll take that. Uh, we haven't gotten any shadow orbs yet. A little bit of a bummer, but that's okay. Okay, ooh. Ooh, almost got cut off there. Let's see, projectiles and critical, yup. Uh, projectiles and cooldown can be huge. And then this one, I definitely want projectiles and damage. I should have probably went more into damage because 50 is not super great, but that's okay. And then we'll throw a bunch of points into cooldown. I mean, don't get me wrong, 11 is pretty good. Like, I mean, we're not struggling on expert mode at all with this, which I had a feeling we weren't we weren't going to struggle at all. So I'm not really too too worried about about this. Um, I do want to, I think, get crossbow for projectiles. That could be pretty huge. What is this one? Another red full uh, heart container? Okay, I'll take it. 
I'll take it. That's not too bad. We should be pretty good here. Should be pretty, pretty good. Um, don't want to get zapped or anything. Ooh, almost got zapped there. Ooh, we got the wolf also. Okay. And then we should wipe that guy out. Yep, uh, not a problem. Uh, four more seconds and we should get uh, this red heart container. Sweet. Now we're up to quite a few hearts. Um, let's actually make our way down over to the gold one. Need to be careful because I do want to um, try and stack up some gold for uh, Noki's Realm. Although we could just skip through it all and uh, try and unlock that other new character. Um, but I do want to start trying to go on to different islands, so I'm gonna hold off on. Um, I mean, I think I think we only have to. Ah, crap. I think we only have to do it three times, so I'm not super super worried about it. But um, I also don't want to unlock a new character quite yet because we we have like nine islands to check out. So <clears throat> I definitely want to um, check them out before we continuously unlock new characters and then it's like we never we never leave Midgard I don't want that to happen so I definitely want to make sure that we um, that we go on to the next island whichever that may be or the next realm or whatever which hopefully hopefully will be after this uh, this episode I don't know who we're gonna run probably potentially Axeldor um, maybe um, maybe we'll run some more um, Helga I don't know yet but we'll see uh, what do we got here? From the depths, daggers also appear from enemy shadows. Oh, interesting. Interesting. I think I'm going to go for dagger wave to start off with. And then from the depths will be our next upgrade. Um, let's dump a bunch of points into cooldown. So cooldown is maxed. When activated, five shadows are created around you that attract enemies and explode after a few seconds, causing damage from now on and for the rest of the run. Your dash will allow you to pass through enemies and props at a faster speed. Okay, I mean, I'm probably going to go projectile speed and go into this guy here. Um, and then, of course, this one's pretty good. 50% um, of the crit chance you have above 100% will become damage. I mean, we don't have above 100%. We still only have the 5%, so I'll probably end up going this one. Um, you gain crit damage plus 50%. Your, all your non-critical attacks inflict minus 50% damage. So not super great. I mean, we are critting eh, not all the time. Damage will drop down to 25. But I mean, we are we do have some pretty good crit. Uh, we have some pretty good wave clear too now. Like, our wave clear is absolutely phenomenal. Plus 50% crit though, that'll boost our crit up quite a bit too. So, I think going that one is our best bet. Ex ah, crap, man. Especially if we can get uh, more shadow orbs. That could be huge. Because um, if we can get more shadow orbs, if we can get five shadow orbs, that would be what? Well, I think it, I think we tried to discover it. I think it was like 75% increased crit. So, that, that could be pretty insane. That could be pretty insane. Okay. Yeah, we're looking pretty good so far. My only worry is that, like, we don't have the crit yet, so, like, it could definitely affect, um, our wave clear if we don't get the increased crit. So, hopefully we get some good items. Um, ooh, let's make it back up to the gold mine. I mean, we do have attack speed uh, monolith, which is pretty good. So I'm not too worried there. We are one-shotting all these guys, so that's also pretty good. Only three, not great, but <clears throat> should be able to clear out a good, a good amount of uh, enemies here, get a good amount of XP going. We got 19 points, so nothing... I mean, I, I want to say nothing too crazy, but that's that's a good amount of points, to be honest with you. Okay. I think we got these guys coming in. Let's see. Let's go... I have to go here to get this one to go here down here um, I'm gonna wait to do that I'm gonna dump it into this guy crit damage projectiles I do want to go all in on projectiles on this one um, damage could be good too but the main one is having all the projectiles and then we'll throw it into damage as well so now we should be pretty strong I mean, not saying that we weren't strong already. We were already pretty dang strong, so. Crit for daggers, we're gonna increase for sure. 
So we're up to, I think, 50, um, we're up to 17.5 crit, <clears throat> and we're up to 5% weapon crit, I think. <clears throat> I don't know, I, I still don't know how, quite how to read the, uh, the stats on the side there. Um, we're doing pretty good so far on these guys. Ooh, yeah, we do dash pretty far now. Okay. I mean, we're, we're we're killing them pretty quickly. We didn't shred them, but like we we did some pretty good damage to them. Uh, Twelve points. Noki, Tumble, um, attracts all red potions. Each enemy has a fifty percent chance of being poisoned. Shoots stones that bounce off enemies. Yep. And it's a red heart container. Yep. Um. Yeah, I'll take this one. Sure, why the heck not? Why the heck not? And let's see. Let's get this guy um, upgraded now. Ooh, actually, before we do that, let's look at this one. Arrows crit from your shadow archers have a 5% chance of generating another shadow archer. Ooh, that could be actually pretty good. Daggers also appear from enemy shadows. We'll do that. Um, I'll, I want to juice up projectile. Okay, and then, of course, get this one. And then we'll re-roll once. Projectile crit, that works for me. And let's get this show on the road. Oh yeah, projectiles are flying pretty pretty good. Pretty dang good. I, I'm really not too worried about this run. Um, even though we are on expert mode, I am I'm not worried at all. Like I feel like we're pretty dang strong. Um, uh, effect prop plus 20, it also nerfs a random stat. I don't really want to do that, even though it's... Um, Dude. Having them bounce from the enemy shadows is actually crazy strong. Because it's basically once they die, they throw out another, like, 12 daggers. 11 daggers, which is absolutely insane. Um, I really want to try and get as much meta progression as possible. Um, because the more meta progression we can get, the more um, we can actually make some, like, progress. Because, like, like I said uh, in the last episode, it's getting very, I think I said in the last episode, it's getting very expensive to get upgrades. So, like, it's taking, like, ten leaves per, so definitely taking a bit. Um, we need to head over here. We got three elites coming in. Um, this is faster dash cooldown I'll take. I only got 15, so not too bad. Ooh. That's close. Um, I mean, we, we shredded them, like, nobody's problem. Um, I do need more gold, but I do want to make my way... I mean, we're going to have plenty of gold by the time we get done here. I, ooh, this is huge. <clears throat> Experience attraction. Five points. That's actually huge. I mean, because we, we have this wave, and I think one more after this, so, like, that's, that's pretty big. So I definitely want that, if possible. Um, it's just getting the XP, because XP, I feel like, isn't worth a lot right now. Like, we're killing a lot, but we're not leveling up very quickly. Okay. I feel like there's not, <laughs> there's no, uh, monsters on the screen. Okay. Because of how quickly we're killing them all. I do, I do like both ascensions on this one. This one, it feels very strong. Pansy just feels very, like a very good uh, character. But I, I do like the, uh, the double shadow ascensions. It's probably, probably my favorite with them. Um, I do want to try um, the double, um, the double bow. I think that could be cool. Um, the double uh, shadow pools or whatever could be good. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. The other dagger one, the dag the shadow daggers or whatever, could be could have could be good with both of them. Hopefully this will get us to level up a little quicker with the uh, XP uh, pickup. We do have three, four. We do have four shadow orbs, which is huge. So our crit is up to 62%. So maybe it's time to get that one that increases our crit by 50%. I mean, we could do the one over 100%, but the problem is we don't have over 100% crit. 
but once we get uh, what you call it, the 50% one, we will have over 100% crit. It. So I don't know. It might be worth it. Might not be. I don't know. I mean, if we get another uh, what you call it, another shadow orb, our crit will be up to what 77%. So that'll be pretty good. That'll be pretty good. I mean, I feel like unstoppable right now. Like, it's almost kind of like... I don't know. Like, it just feels so good. Ooh, almost took the damage there. But now we got all five shadow orbs. We're 77% damage, or 77% crit. Problem is, we don't need effect prop. That's why I'm not taking that potion. Like we don't we don't need the potion. Okay. I mean we got 14 points. Let's spend them, baby. Let's spend them. Do you want more damage on this? Yeah, damage projectiles, and then projectiles and damage. Ooh, to 50, that'll be huge. Um, you gain 50% crit. I mean, that'll put us at like 130 crit. I don't know if it's worth it. I definitely want this one, though. That's for sure. And then, yeah. I mean, we're already one-shotting them anyways, but I mean, like... The more the merrier, man. Once it gets down to a certain point, it just... They just disappeared. Really huge. Ooh, almost got hit there. Holy smokes. I forgot how far, like, Hansi Dash is so far compared to other, uh, other characters. So we gotta be careful on that. I mean, we are up to 63 gold. We got quite a bit of gold. The huge one is if we could get the Golden Noki. Where we, uh... Dude, the Golden Noki would be insane. To where, like, we do, um... Plus one damage her gold like we that'd be insane we have six um let's get you and then i want to get this one and then maybe this one okay let's get attack speed see if we can shred this bad boy see how quickly i mean he's already half hp man like come on and he's dead and he's dead just like that and he's dead okay Sweet. Uh, let's see here. Let's only use this. Look at this, sure. Damage. I mean, the minus movement speed kind of sucks, but that's okay. Um, Grits Blue Heart breaks when being hit. I'll take that. And we'll take the Magnet. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Alright, let's see how this goes. We got 93, or level 93. Um,. Your shadow archers perform a second attack in all directions. This could be huge, but like generating another arrow is massive, especially once we get this guy over here. And then we'll go all into damage. Since we're constantly critting, like we're gonna have a ton of projectiles flying. We got 170 damage. So it's weird because we got the 77.5% crit, but we also have the. Um, we have the 77.5 crit, but we also have, like, the weapon crit, which is 55%. Definitely a little hard to understand the stats over there. But, I mean, we're doing we're, we're doing super good, so I'm not really too worried about it. Not really too worried about it. Hopefully we can max out damage as well. That'd be huge. Um, cooldown on crossbow. Sure, why not? I mean, probably taking um, damage on our... Um, uh, pikes probably would have been better, but yeah, that's okay. Ooh, almost got hit by that. Uh, let's see, cooldown. We could do more crit, which would bump it up to 104%. You know what? I'm going to take crit on the crossbow. Since our daggers are already at 99%. Um, what exactly? Holy cow, we, there's a ton of XP floating around. Um, we got a ton of hearts. 
like a ton of parts. Um, let's see. I'm tempted to boost our level in the, um, either the, either the slingshot or the, or the staffs, or the spears, I should say. Um, I do want to max the damage out here. Okay, that's maxed. Um, is, does area help us at all? I don't think area helps us. I don't think area helps us here. I would love more projectiles. Ooh, bounces can be huge. I wonder if there's a world where we can max, like, everything. I wonder. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. I mean, we are sitting at 104. We still have all five of our shadow orbs. Um, yeah, we melted those guys pretty quick. I mean, we're still looking pretty dang good. Can we go over? No, we can't. We still have five. I knew I said that we had, like, five was the max, but just still had to test it, you know? If we could go over that, that could have been pretty cool. We are at level 109, which is pretty, pretty good, pretty up there. I think this is the highest level we've ever been. We got 194 meta progression too. 194 seedlings. More the merrier, baby. More the merrier. Okay. Still looking super good. We're already almost to the boss. Let's grab this. Try and wipe this guy out quickly. Yeah, we're not. I feel like we're not killing it as quickly as we were in the last run. Um, I mean, we could go crit on the bow, but let's just go damage. We need more damage. Damage, I can definitely see this. Kind of struggle busting a little bit, even though we're critting non stop and we're doing. I mean, 132 looks like the. Eh, I see 75 there for the low. I mean, we're still doing an insane amount of damage, but still. We got 16 more points. I do want to throw more into damage on the other, um, on the other, uh, whatchamacallit? We're getting a lot of chests too, which is super nice. Plus one more bounce. Uh, let's go more damage. Ooh, more projectiles could be huge, but let's go more damage. Oh, another chest. More projectiles, more damage. I want more damage. Um, what exactly does this do? More summons, increase crit. That's an insane amount of crit. Okay. Um, bounces and cooldown, sure. Projectile and cooldown, sure. Bounces and projectiles, sure. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. Um, so that's max. Projectile speed. Let's do this guy, this guy. Okay, we're looking pretty good. Maybe we'll dump some more. If we can get seven more points by the time we fight the boss, we'll throw it into um, throw it into our ultimate. I mean, the XP bar is flying up. It is going super quick. So we might, we might be able to. We also have the XP ring that we can use before we fight the boss. I've never actually maxed out an ultimate, so that could be pretty crazy, too. Okay. What we got going on here? Become attraction, eh. Let's go damage. Okay. I'm not one-shotting those. I really want to one-shot them. But I don't think we're going to be able to. Let's use this. 20... Oh, it's 24 points, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. <clears throat> do projectiles and damage. Um, oh, let's do this. Ooh, perfect. Let's do that. Okay, let's do this. 
see what we see how quickly we can wipe them out. Okay, he's already down to a quarter HP. See how quickly we can defeat him. I really want him to pop up for the shield to go down and then we like immediately kill him. Oh. Well not kill him, but I mean he's already down to a quarter HP, which is insane. Okay. We're doing pretty good. Not really too worried about it. And he should die here. Okay, I guess not. Okay, come on, come on, come on. And he is dead. Boom, baby. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Hansko is a pretty, pretty easy run. I wasn't too worried about running through them. Crimson Dagger, 1,704 damage. Holy smokes, dude. That's insane. That's insane. No new items. But that's that's crazy. That is absolutely insane. Yo, if y'all ended up enjoying this, make sure you guys tap that like button down below. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Every little bit counts, and I do greatly appreciate it. it. Helps me out a lot. Lets me know that you guys are enjoying the content and are willing to come back and watch some more. Um, we could increase XP attraction, but we are going to be... I mean, we're going into a new island. Increase damage inflicted to bosses. I think this is worth taking. And then we have two leaves for the next uh, next one. But sweet. Um, in the oh. next episode, since we haven't unlocked any new characters, we'll end up taking on Alfheim. So that'll be pretty sweet. And we'll probably end up unlocking... Uh, who was it? Find a Lost Grave in Elfheim Wave 3 on hard mode or higher five times, which hopefully we will with uh, all of these characters, but we'll see. Um, I don't know who we're going to play in the next episode. Maybe some more Helga, but we'll see. Uh, once again, thank you guys all for watching. This has been Nordic Ashes, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out!